So here we are in spring 1918. Germany is winning World War I. That spring, they went on a huge offensive and got very, very close to Paris. And then by the end of the year, they've lost. So something big must have happened, right? Something like the USA joining the war, maybe? How about Britain and France just magically getting better at fighting? Not convinced? Okay, maybe it's something more mysterious. Let's dig into it. Let's tackle the first two questions head on. So was the USA entering the war the reason Germany lost so suddenly? Yes and no. You see, sure, a whole lot of fresh troops and equipment from one side is definitely going to make a difference, especially when those troops haven't been on the front line for years and aren't suffering from malnutrition. So that's where the yes part comes from. But the no comes from a simple fact. World War I was so long and bloody because the new weapons and tactics suited the defensive side and the Germans were excellent at defending after taking territory quickly. They consistently lost less men than the French, British or Russians through recognising what tactics would work and bleeding their opponents out slowly but surely. But you might say, okay, if that's so true, how did the Germans get so close to taking Paris in the spring of 1918 if it was so easy to defend? Were they actually better at attacking than the French and British? Well. Kinda, but that doesn't fully explain it. What does is what had changed between 1914 at the start of the war and 1918, the last year of the war. Tactics. The French and British had a lot of practice at attacking the Germans and it often led to huge losses for them. Tens of thousands in single days of battles. Almost unprecedented numbers by this stage of history. As much as we shouldn't give a free pass to the military commanders that sent millions to their deaths, they often didn't do this casually. A relatively misunderstood fact is that the military command weren't completely incompetent. Haig, the British commander, was a good example. The Allies were constantly trying new weapons, e.g. British's invention of the tank, new ways of using existing weapons like the rolling artillery slash creeping barrage because it allowed you to creep up on your enemy by keeping them under pressure. It was used for the first time during one of the most infamous battles of the war, the Battle of the Somme, a very deadly battle for the British. So clearly it didn't work. So where am I going with this? Generally, the generals learned from their mistakes. Sure, rolling artillery was a failure at first. That was mainly because the artillery shells the British created weren't great against the defences the Germans had, and many shells were duds that didn't explode. Good old British manufacturing, eh? But back in Britain, manufacturing got better after this. But then, by 1918, something had definitely changed. Haig, who had been an ambassador for years, for throwing lives away, suddenly came into his own. You could combine effective tanks, low-flying planes, and rolling artillery to force the defenders to abandon their positions. In other words, the meta of the war went from defending to attacking. But this partially explains why Germany was able to attack so well in the spring. The rules of the game had changed. You could attack now. It also explains why the Allies were able to push the Germans back so much once they regrouped. So sure, the Americans definitely helped, but this fact was bigger. Although it doesn't fully explain it either. So what else? Throughout the war, Germany and Britain did much better than anyone would have guessed in terms of avoiding mass starvation and keeping order at home. But despite the U-boats and submarine warfare that the Germans were experts at, they couldn't compete with the British Navy in the long term. Although at one stage, it was a very close run thing. With sinking ships and boats at a rate the British couldn't replace. The sea blockade of Germany made life more difficult for the average German. Then, Spanish flu. Not actually Spanish, but hey. Ripped through the starving people. So with all we know, as soon as the game went from hold your territory to attack quickly, Germany were outnumbered without a strong ally to back them up. And the country was falling apart. The spring offensive might have looked dangerous, but it was a desperate last attempt to avoid disaster. So yeah, Germany lost for a few reasons. But can I persuade you that the British can take a lot of the blame for the war happening in the first place? Give me five-ish minutes and you'll believe it too.